Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Phil and Dave's Excellent Adventures. Just Dave here. Today, I'm talking about the movie 65. This is going to be a spoiler review, so if you are concerned about spoilers, I would suggest go and watch the movie first before you watch this review. So, 65 is a movie, a sci-fi movie, about a person from another planet who crash lands on Earth 65 million years ago in the Cretaceous period. Um, he, he, he's a pilot of a ship. There's only one passenger left. He has to try to get that passenger to the escape pod, is essentially the plot. So as far as what I liked about the movie, overall, I thought the cast was great. I liked Adam Driver. Uh, Ariana Greenblatt is the uh, the young girl whose name I forget. Uh, Chloe Coleman as his daughter and uh, Nika King as his wife. And that's it for the cast. There's only four people in the whole movie. I think somebody did the voice of the uh, ship. But other than that, just four people in this movie. So I don't know. It's kind of interesting. I think they all did a good job. Um, I like the opening. The, the, they sort of show outer space, and it looked really cool. You know, I like outer space, and I like that kind of galaxy design and stuff. And it was a really cool, effective opening. I was basically, as soon as I watched it, I'm like, I'm in. I don't know if I necessarily needed everything explained to me with the text up front, but as far as seeing the galaxies and and the universe and, and the stars and all of that, it was really cool, and I really enjoyed seeing it. Um, I liked the uh, the cancer reveal. It, at some point, you know, he he leaves. He has to go leave his daughter and his wife behind. And you see these sort of videos from his daughter. And at some point, the young girl who he is uh, trying to escort up the mountain finds the eclipse of his daughter. And it's slowly revealed that uh, his daughter ends up, I believe, getting cancer or, or dying in, in some way. Um, and yeah, it, for me, I think it was effective. You know, I, I sort of saw it coming just just right before it happened but uh when it happened it was effective for me i, I was pretty upset by it and yeah I, I i you know missed it up a little bit there i think so uh yeah i, I thought that was surprisingly effective and, and i thought it worked to help you know character motivation and all that kind of stuff so yeah, i thought it worked i like the uh the asteroid impact um again it took me a second to, to figure it out but then once i realized like oh so he is actually like there the day that the asteroid hit the uh the earth and and Killed the dinosaurs is what most people believe. So that was interesting. And it definitely added to the stakes of the story. Now, now not only is he, you know, trying to fight this um, planet with these crazy dinosaurs trying to kill him, he's also got to, uh, he's at a race against time for this asteroid is going to wipe out pretty much all life on Earth. Um, so yeah, very much effective stakes that worked for me there. Uh, there's a cave sequence uh, early on where they start to get attacked by, I believe, the T-Rex or something like that in a cave. And then uh, they start to kind of crawl through this this short passageway and then it, it caves in on them. And I thought it was effective. Um, I'm not someone who's particularly um, claustrophobic, but in that case, I'm watching that going like, yeah, yeah, that I would not want to climb into that hole at all. That would definitely freak me out. So I thought it was good. I thought it was effective and I liked it. And I liked the way they resolved it, that the girl ended up getting through and then she does her little whistle for him. And I like the whistle thing as well, too. They show at the beginning him teaching his daughter how to whistle and her kind of figuring out how to do it. And then he goes to teach to, to the uh, to the little girl and she's got her own little whistle. She's got her own different kind of way of whistling, which I thought that was cool. I like that. Um, and I did like the ending, too. You know, we get to a point where uh, he finally gets to the, the escape shuttle, he gets the girl on there, but then he has to fight off the T-Rexes or the dinosaurs to keep her. And uh, I, I sort of thought maybe the movie's going to go for the, oh, he's going to sacrifice himself to save her kind of thing, which, you know, maybe would have been a, a more dramatic ending. But uh, I'm glad that the girl came back and saved him. Maybe a little cheesy, maybe a little too, uh, you know, Hollywood or whatever, but worked for me. It was effective. I don't know. I like that. As far as what I disliked about it, it's it's a bad title. I think 65, just because it's hard to Google, it's hard to look it up. You know, you get it confused with, what's that movie, 42? No, that's someone about Jackie Robinson. Like, I don't know. And I mean, when I first saw the trailer from this, I'm like, wait, why is it called 65? Oh, 65 million years ago, dinosaurs. Okay, cool. That's fine. But I feel like they could have come up with a better title. Um, I don't know what. Uh, anything I came up with probably would be kind of generic, but um, that could have been a better title. Do you realize as I'm looking to, I like the design of the suits, particularly the Adam Driver's suit. I thought it was a cool design. I thought it looked pretty cool that it was, uh, you know, not traditional, but close enough that, that it didn't seem like crazy out there. I don't know. I thought it was a pretty cool looking suit. The gun's a little goofy looking, but I thought the suit looked pretty good. Um, the movie is maybe a little slow. I, I think that was probably a lot of people's issues with the movie. It's, it's a little slow. It kind of takes its time to, to kind of get going. Um, but honestly, it didn't bother me too much, at least not, not in this one. 
I thought some of the CGI was pretty bad. Um, it's not a huge budget movie, so I didn't expect it to be that good. But there's a scene early on where they show these kind of flying pterosaurs of some sort, and it looked really, really bad. Like, like Birdemic kind of stuff where I'm like, oh, God, what is this movie? Uh, but the rest of it I thought was not that bad. But that, that one scene in particular was, was pretty rough. Um, I didn't recognize some of the dinosaurs, and I'm not by any means a dinosaur expert, but um, there's these kind of main antagonistic, smaller sort of dinosaurs that they fight a bit, and um, I just wasn't sure what they were exactly, so uh, I, I, I did a quick Google, I didn't see anything, I didn't really look that hard actually, but uh, so yeah, I'm just curious to know what it was, and at first when I saw them, I'm like, those look a little weird, I don't know, but I kind of got used to it, I think, so I think that worked for me, and uh, I don't know. They, they were effective, I think. Uh, they, they were scary enough. I wouldn't want to deal with those uh, dinosaurs, whatever they are. Uh, movie is a little predictable. I, I think, you know, pretty much this is the kind of movie you could not watch it at all, and you would pretty much know what happens. <laughs> you know, it's it pretty much everything that happens is more or less what you expect to happen. And a lot of the stuff is is pretty cliche. It's stuff that I feel like I've seen before. Uh, there's a part where he gets like a dislocated shoulder, and uh, he has to, you know, slam it into like the tree to fix it, which I see in movies all the time. And I will say as someone who messed up my shoulder about two years ago and it's still messed up, <laughs> that's not how it works. You can't just bang it into a tree and you're okay now. Maybe you can, I don't know. But I did like, they did kind of a little twist on it where like the girl kind of helped him do it. And then he grabs the gun and shoots the thing. It was okay. It worked for me. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. Um, there's a part with quicksand which, you know, cartoons made me think it was going to be this big thing as an adult, but yeah, I don't really encounter it much. I don't honestly know if quicksand is even a real thing. I mean, I'm sure it is, but I don't think it's really much of a viable threat to anyone with a brain. I feel like you can pretty easily get out of it, and, and you'd also have to be in a thing of quicksand so deep that, you know, it would completely cover you, and I don't know. Granted, 65 million years ago, things may have been different. I, I don't know. And I think it was a decent enough scene. But uh, yeah, something that actually reminded me a lot of like 80s movies. I don't know, for some reason, it reminded me of like Beastmaster. I think because there was a quicksand scene in there as well. Um, other than that, movie was uh, written and directed by Scott Beck and Brian Woods. Uh, they both previously wrote A Quiet Place and uh, they wrote and directed something called Haunt. They've got some other credits. They work together a lot. Um, it was filmed in the Kitsichi National Forest in Louisiana. Just thought that was interesting. Um, so this is one where uh, I will say that the critics do not like this movie very much, and the audiences aren't really loving it either. But uh, the Rotten Tomato scores on it uh, at time of the review was 37% for the critics and uh, 63% for the audience. So the audience, you know, likes it considerably more. But yeah, the critics were not not liking this movie very much. And I will say. I thought it was actually pretty okay. I, I, I think I liked it more than most. Uh, I think it sort of delivers what it promises, which is Adam Driver fighting dinosaurs. Um, and I think some ways in like Cocaine Bear was kind of like a, a crazy kind of high concept premise. Um, whereas that one did not deliver for me and I didn't like it that much. This one kind of did. And I feel like most people would say the exact opposite. So I'm probably wrong, but that's, that's what I think. Um, movie had a $45 million budget and uh, it's made about $20 million worldwide so far. So it's going to be hard for it to make money. Uh, it'll need to make about $90 million to be profitable, I think. So it, they could struggle. See, maybe overseas market will help it. I, I don't know. Um, I do like and I appreciate that it's original IP. Now, uh, I, I thought maybe it would be based on a book or something. But as far as I can tell, this was just an original idea. A couple screenwriters came up with it and, and made a movie out of it, which is just it's cool to see. People always complain that everything's a reboot or a remake or based on a comic book or a book or a movie or whatever. Um, and it's nice to see something original, something, something different, something new. And I do like these kind of con high concept uh, sci-fi things where it's like, you know, guy has to fight uh, dinosaurs. Cool. If they did something similar, where it's a you know, guy goes back in time to fight dinosaurs, I'd be like, yep, I'm down for that. Anything where it's, it's something very simple, you can explain it in a sentence. I'm like, Cool. Let's check it out and let's see more of that. So maybe I'm being a little bit uh, nicer to this movie just because I, I want to encourage Hollywood to keep making original IPs. And, you know, $45 million, it's, it's you know, decent kind of mid-level movie these days. And it's nice to see movies that don't have $100, $200 million budgets. And I'd like to support that and like to see people, uh, I'd like to see them making more of it. A uh, movie obviously has a lot of uh, parallels to The Last of Us. It's a very similar plot line. Uh, guys escorting a, a young girl. Uh, in a dangerous kind of time. Uh, I think it also reminded me a little bit of Aliens with the connection of his own daughter and um, with Ripley's connection to Newt. Um, reminded me a little bit of en Enemy Mine from the 80s, which is just a weird movie that I liked a lot. Um, and so, I don't know, just again, seeing stuff like that is cool. I like to see stuff like that. 
Um, I do think that, uh, you know, maybe as, as a movie you go out to the theater and see and you pay money for, I can see maybe being a little disappointed. Um, I saw it at a matinee like I usually do. So six bucks to me, it was not bad. But if you paid 10, 12 bucks, 15 for your ticket, I can see maybe thinking, all right, that wasn't worth it. But I do think if this were something that were put out on like Netflix or Amazon or something like that, it would be a fun movie that people would probably enjoy. So I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But I do think if it's the kind of thing that shows up, you know, in a couple months, on Netflix or Hulu or whatever, definitely worth checking out. Um, so yeah, I think I like the movie probably more than most people, but uh, we'll see. My score on this one, I think I'm gonna give it a six out of 10. Um, I, I almost really kind of liked it, uh, but I think maybe I'm just being a little too charitable there. Um, but I certainly think I liked it better than most people did. But if you saw the movie, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a great night and I will see you here again next week.